just gonna start off. Obviously, I'm outside right now, so if you hear any noise in the background, that's what that is. Obviously, I haven't gotten my eyebrows done, like tweeze. I haven't even bothered tweezing them in like four weeks. So they're just doing whatever they want to do. But that's okay. I think I'm gonna try to transition out of using this so much and I'm gonna go and try to transition into using a brow pencil. I honestly feel like it's probably gonna be better off for me because I really don't do that much to my eyebrows. I really like this primer. You guys know I don't really care about primers usually, but this one is like a, a serum, and so it doesn't feel weird, and it really does make my skin feel like amazing, and I feel like when I put it on, my makeup ends up looking really, really, really good. And then I also still like using face oils. This is just like a random face oil from MAC. I think I, I might put a little couple of drops of this on my face. And this is good if, especially if you want your makeup to look really dewy and hydrated. You just basically put it everywhere. And it looks so good. I feel like also my skin's been looking extra good because I haven't been doing that much to it lately. I'm going to be doing a skincare routine in probably the next week or so. I'm going to post my skincare routine. I'm going to post the daytime version and the nighttime version. Um, but I still like to use this. I'm only going to use one pump of foundation though. And if you do see me do like a little bit more mainly going to be to carve out my eyebrows. I really need to get some dermaplaning done. That's one thing that you really shouldn't do at home. If you can avoid it, avoid doing dermaplaning at your house because usually you'll just end up kind of like fucking your face up. But honestly, my face is so hairy right now. <laughs> and I actually still have like a decent amount of product on my hands, so I'm gonna take a beauty blender and blend all of this stuff out. So essentially I'm not having to wear that much makeup or that much foundation. And it really is true that like the more you take care of your skin like the less makeup you'll have to wear so like when you do start kind of going and taking really good care of your um, skin and how it looks you'll have to wear like 
you don't have to wear that much foundation you don't have to wear that much more concealer because your skin is already like really clear like if you really work on getting your skin clear it's a lot less work when it comes to makeup you know when I had dark spots all over my face it was a lot more work trying to cover that stuff up so skincare is honestly like more important than like cover up or concealer or dark spot corrector or whatever it's like skincare is like the most important thing 10 times more important than any of that stuff so I am gonna end up going in with a couple of concealers just because I still want certain parts of my face to be extremely highlighted the first one is gonna be this one from Juvia's Place I just really like this color And I'm kind of been contemplating drawing a line down there, like, you know, like, but I'm going to leave it alone for the moment being. A little bit on my forehead. And I really like this Pat McGrath concealer, so that's what this is. And I'm going to put a little bit of this. You can see it's like obviously significantly lighter but it does oxidize a little bit so it won't look that way for that long one reason that I don't just go in directly with concealer and and I like go into the foundation on first is because I feel like just the way my skin works I kind of need that foundation even if it's like the lightest layer I kind of need it to be like a barrier on the face before I go in with concealer because I just feel like it makes everything like kind of look more cohesive so that's why I don't just like go in immediately with concealer if you were wondering that blend that out and this brush that you guys see me using for my concealer this is a paint brush that I got from Michaels probably like two dollars at Michaels so just so you guys know that's the type of concealer brush that I like to use it's like angled like that so now for powder I am gonna be using probably the same amount of powder that I always use I for the face I'm going to be using this Looks like that. this is NW44 and you guys always ask me about this brush this is a Laura Mercier blush brush so I use it for all powder products on my face but it's technically meant for blush a light layer of this just in areas that I don't want my face to feel sticky the only reason I really use a lot of powder on my face is because I don't I really really hate for my face to feel sticky if my face feels like sticky or tacky I get really annoyed so that's why you guys see me putting powder on my face like so much powder usually And then for the eye area, I'm going to be using this powder. This is in the shade Blondie. So I went one shade up from the normal color that I usually wear, which is Kanapa. And 
I remembered that I had this, so that's basically why I'm using it. Also, let me know if you guys would want to know what I bought in the VIB sale. I could do a whole video on that, but so far I've bought nothing. <laughs> Mattified and brightened and blurred all in one. As you guys see, it's not really changing the shade of my face, but it is kind of brightening up a little bit. For you guys who really want me to go back to how I used to do my makeup back in the day, like that. I don't think it's ever gonna really happen like I don't really it's just not me anymore so I don't know for me Now, as for other products, I actually left my highlighter brush somewhere else. I just don't have it. So I'm just going to be using com a combination of fingers in this brush. So I'm going to go in with this highlighter color from Laura Mercier. It's called Indiscretion. Take my finger. And we're basically almost done, honestly. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. So, basically the last powder product I'm gonna use on my face is gonna be this from KKW. Obviously it's really old, as you can see, I use it almost every time I do my makeup, this is what I'm using as like a contour shade. And I'm gonna put this in the crease of my eye as well. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but. Honestly, I think I'm actually going to be buying some of the Hermes lipsticks as well because I really, really want to try those out. So when it comes to lipstick, guys, I have a few options going on. So I have obviously my favorite, like the one that you guys see me use most of the time if you ever see me wear a red lipstick is either this color right here, which is Ruby Woo by MAC. It's a really old one and I've just had it literally for years to where this is all that's left, but it really does an amazing job. And then I was sent these lipsticks from Japanesque probably like almost two years ago, honestly, but I'm still not gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna use them. And what I like is that they sent me like, I think this is 12 shades. And then they also sent like lip brushes and then like a palette to where you could take all the lipsticks out and put them in a palette and have them like all in front of you if you're a makeup artist. So what I think I'm gonna end up doing is, I really like that they sent me this retractable lip brush. I might end up putting this in my purse actually. Yeah, I'm for sure gonna put this in my purse. And then they sent me an all over lip brush with a cap which I actually really like that. Let me see. I don't usually use a lip brush, but I kind of feel like it's more hygienic, and I don't know, it's, I kind of like it because you can be really precise with your lipstick if you use a lip brush, so the fact that they sell these, I'm all over it. Like, I'm all about it. 
So this is what the lip brush looks like. And then it has a cap that goes on it. Like that. Which is kind of cute. I think it's kind of difficult to get it inside. But like, that's really cute and chic. Anyways, might as well use it today. So, what I'm planning on doing is just using my like, regular lipsticks today because I also have a really cool lip product that I got from Chanel that I really like and I'm gonna use today as well so I'm not gonna really go into all of these lipsticks that they sent me I'm gonna have a separate video that I film on just like the different lip color on different like lip combinations and colors especially specifically for red lipstick um so yeah in the meantime I'm just gonna go with my regular lip color that I love, which is Ruby Woo by MAC. Oh, this is nice. It's like a very stiff brush. Because I know there's some people who really don't like putting the actual lipstick on their lips. This is kind of nice. You kind of make your own lip liner with it. Not that I need a lip liner, obviously. Cute. I'm gonna save this. I'm actually gonna use this lip brush in a couple of minutes when I show you guys the lip powder that I'm gonna be using today. And then this right here is a Chanel like powder and like balm duo. So it's in the shade Rosso Parthenope. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna use this powder color. If you like your lips looking like glossy or shiny, you can use this, which is like a balm. You can also use this on your eyelids, on your highlights or your face to make it a little more dewy looking. But I'm just gonna be using this red color today. It comes with the brush, but I'm, but I'm just gonna use the lip brush that I already have, so. I'm just kind of dipping it in. And you can see that color is just so bright and pretty. This just mattifies your lips even more, which I love. I feel like you guys see it's just making it even more like bright and like matte. This is making me so happy. I absolutely love this. I think that looks so pretty. So I think, honestly, I really don't want to put eyelashes on. I kind of feel like, why waste a good pair of eyelashes during quarantine when you're not going anywhere, you know? Because I feel like I look completely fine right now. I am, however, gonna spray my face and make it look a little bit more dewy with this Morphe setting spray. This is the final look. I really like it. So let me know if you like this look and if you like this type of video and if you like this space where I'm filming this video. If you do, I will film plenty more videos out here. And yeah, I hope you guys like this. If you do, give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.